good morning everyone so last class we saw what is linked list is so anyone remember what is a linked list yes we started with third chapter that is introduction to data structure and linked list so anyone remember what is a linked list is yes <coughs> can anyone tell yes what is linked list can anyone tell you people will be listening or sleeping all class will be like this only what is a linked list it is a collection of nodes in each node what was there two part was there we studied about singly linked list last class in each node two part were there one was uh, actual data another was pointer to next node that is address of next node would be there in the other thing so today we will continue the linked list so we will uh, continue the same before that i will revise you with the using one video we will see a video and revise the what is studied in last class then i will continue with the linked list operations can see the video no ma'am wow. one recruiting season alone scalar had more grads join amazon than from all iits combined okay. so i'll show you what is about linked list okay so you will get a idea we will uh, what we studied last class who had missed the class they can go through this and then i'll uh, teach you the operations and programs on this today now you can see the video i guess okay so a linked list you can uh, this analyze has or you can assume it as a train can you see this train okay see how it is so this is also made up of nodes optionally your link list can have a header and tail okay which will have information of all the <coughs> link list okay so all the link list so you can analyze the link list as a tree so we'll see this video then i'll continue with the thing see that is a difference in our array what is happen we have uh, this we have to specify the size first and we cannot exit exceed that size but in linked list what will happen we can add any number of elements to it so it will have linked list will have collection of nodes okay each node will a singly linked list can show store data like int care float and all whereas next will be pointer to next node to connect address you have to store whichever next node you want to connect to it like one train uh, bogey it is so now let's see why we need a linked list okay 
see this is your memory space assume this is your memory space okay green blocks are uh, free memory but <coughs> if you try to make it as a array we could not make because we wanted memory in the continuous space but using uh, we can make a linked list using this because we can give the address anywhere whereas in array it should be one after the other we will not specify the next element address so it should be sequential but in a linked list you can have if even one one memory any part of the computer it is we can join <coughs> okay so that is why we need the linked list okay So like this, we can have the linked list. It need not be together. Okay. So whereas uh, in array, your uh, this uh, space uh, data had to be one after the other. Here, anywhere it is, we can join. That is the advantage. So uh, only how many? One, two, three, four, five memory space were there for five nodes. We could make a linked list, and the last one will be null. Last node will be null. Means. it is undefined or it is there okay. so we call these blocks as single nodes okay we have again different types of linked list single singly linked list doubly linked list circular linked list but this what we studied was singly linked list so it is it looks like a train only no now linked list yes or no if you want uh, you can have first node has a header node in a linked list but uh, i'll uh, for the programs i will write i'll not have a header node directly i'll write the first node and continue so did you uh, understand all this how we do if you want you can make first node yes, as header node okay so in train also these are like your nodes and last node after this null will come so to connect them we need some pointers so i think you remember now at least you got an idea of what is a linked list did you get understand or you have any doubts you can otherwise i'll continue any doubts you have no ma'am no okay then i'll continue with the linked list representation then this was what all have discussed so far so in today's class i'll be telling you how to implement a linked list and its operation okay to implement the linked list we have to do two things one is declare the linked list okay see this linked list is what type of data type do you remember it is what type of data type it is user defined okay data type so who should define this data type yes we can on, we uh, this in other cases int float and char was user defined so you take int and write a a is a variable of integer <coughs> type but here you should what you should do is you should define okay uh, what is list also okay then define the variable of that and apart from that you have to define the operations also four operations are there on linked list that is insertion deletion search and display okay so how the linked list is implemented by two things first <coughs> how the linked list is it is set of nodes so you have to declare the list nodes first thing whenever you require to add something you have to declare the list nodes next define the linked list operation so let's first see how to declare the list nodes then define the linked list operation <coughs> okay this is how we declare a linked list so how a linked list node will be it will be like this yes or no two space will be there one will be for data you can write it as info data anything next will be pointer it will be written as next <coughs> yes or no so name of this is node <coughs> okay this is how we declare a linked list 
okay we'll have two part info and next okay so what type of this this is user defined data type name of this is truck okay and name of this i'll give as node in this two members are there one is of integer if you want character you have to write char otherwise in then this is pointer to next node so data type is again truck node only and a pointer pointer name is next so if i have a one more node okay so address of this might be 600 that has to be stored here then this and this will be connected and if this is the last node address will be null <coughs> yes getting this and one more thing do you remember what is type def yes do you remember one keyword uh, called type def in data structure yes do you remember what is type def in data structure to rename okay to rename anything we can use type def so every time instead of using struct node okay <coughs> so what i will do you can write pointer also instead of every time writing struct node star and declaring any uh, variable i want to declare i have to write struct node star and declare p q r so instead of that if i use type def <coughs> okay if i use type def what will happen i can rename this name this much name i can rename and the new name will be node so instead of writing struct node star p i can just write n o t e because new name instead of this wherever this full i had to write i'll write only n o d e so i'll write node p star also already i have written here okay so instead of writing struct node star i can write wherever i want node getting this Yes or no? So type def is to rename some data type. Okay. So these are the four operations on linked list. One is insertion, deletion, search, and print. What is insertion? Any idea? Yes. <coughs> linked list is not fixed. Array is fixed. <coughs> so in array, what would be there? Fixed number. You would write three means you would go on writing the data. here it is not it is dynamic memory allocation so if i want one to add in the linked list i have to declare a free node this is known as insertion then what is the data part one okay then next if no element is there it will come null otherwise here what is there two is there then i have to declare one more i have to create one more node and value will be two so address assume is 500 then i have to write here 500 as Connect. Next three is there. Again, we will create a new. Okay. After this, nothing is there. Null. Then maybe address of this is six hundred. Then I have to write this six hundred and connect to it. So like this, we insert in a linked list. <coughs> Then how to delete in a linked list? If it was an array, a of zero is there, a of one is there, a of two is there. To delete how? We cannot delete in array whereas here if you want to delete maybe i want to delete two i cannot directly go to two i have to start from first only i should go from first then delete this then after deleting this next will point here okay and we have to disconnect this link that we have to do and to search also again we, if anything we do in the linked list we have to start from first node okay again i should start here and go on traversing at sir then to print also start from first go on printing okay <coughs> these are the four operations on linked list insert delete search and print so now let's see how the insertion operation is done so what insertion operation does two things adds a new element to a linked list so to add a new element in a linked list which operation we require insertion <coughs> so which are what are the task let's see what are the task performed during a adding a new node to add a new node first we have to see if memory space is available for a node for one node two spaces are available. so memory if it is available then what you have to do element is stored in info part two part will be there info and next so information is stored here then okay so 
the element is stored in maybe four i want to store in the info part new node is connected to the existing list maybe this is your existing list okay so this is your existing list again you can insert in the front okay insert at the end or insert anywhere in the middle so assume i want to insert in the front then what i have to do i have to change the first yes or no so i have to make this uh, maybe this is p p of next will point to 5 and now new uh, first is 6 so like this we insert so for insertion we have to see memory is uh, there then we have to store element in the info part then connect the next part to the existing list <coughs> and based on location where the new node is added you have three types insert at front insert at end insert at the middle of the list so in array you could insert one after one by the uh, other in the sequence whereas here we can insert anywhere delete anywhere search anywhere <coughs> you understood yes or no are you understanding yes, all people have connected and sleeping i guess when cr is not there pavitra is not there today so first we will yes, code for creating a new node how to create a new empty node like this yes or no <coughs> so like this we create the new node okay so what we do so we are renaming type struct linked list star by a new name called node okay every time i want to write this big uh, sentence i will write only node okay so here node name of the function is create uh, node then i'll declare uh, name uh, one more uh, declare a node by temp okay so this is temp and then how i'll uh, create using malloc function size of struct okay so like this if i do i will get this okay so this is my temp this node name is temp this is my info part this is my next part so next nothing is there so i will store here as null here whatever user wants he can write in info part okay so type def is to define a data type in c malloc you know dynamic memory allocation size of is to uh, allocate the memory equal to the <coughs> that size of the element okay next so next uh, we will see we will see three insertion insertion at the beginning insertion at the end and insertion at the middle okay so first we will see how to insert at the beginning okay so can you see this list yes or no can you see yes, the list yes ma'am if you don't answer i feel you are listening or no can you see this linked list yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes anjali can you see this list so you people will not get attendance so in this list how many nodes are there one two suppose i want to insert a new node what i have to do i have to declare a empty node okay so new node name is <coughs> new node x okay then what i can do i can fill anything some data i'll fill b and maybe i want to if i want to insert in the middle we can insert here if i want to insert at the front i can okay so if i want to insert in the front what will be this address yes what will be the address of this it will be n1 yes or no so when i do that it will connect here yes now what will happen this has become this node uh, x has become first node so rename it hitting this see now node insert front so assume i'll give one more example you are listening or no i don't know simply i'm going on telling okay suppose there is one link list how many nodes are there in this one ma'am there assume the name of this node is first anything we start we have to start with first <coughs> okay then what i'll do i have to i want to insert at the front 
to insert in the front i have to create a empty node first so struct node star new node so this name will be new node then using malloc i will allocate it new node is equal to malloc okay here uh, uh, this return type also should be node okay node malloc size of struct node so here this is your data part this is your pointer part so here i will enter x okay so i'll uh, enter the data so what they have done is equal to x okay x might be a variable it might have any value new node pointing to data this part is x and next where th this will point then what is the address new node of next is equal to first where is first this is your first so it will point here then what they are telling first is equal to new node so first was fourth but now we have replaced so you have to cancel this first okay and then make new node as first now this will be a first node again assume i want to add six so now right now after doing this this will be the status x is there okay then four is there then five is there then null <coughs> okay and then to create the new node what i'll do is <coughs> i will take a empty node okay what will be the name of this node new node this node will be first node so assume i want to insert seven and i want to insert this front now what will happen this new node of next will be is equal to first okay so now this seven will become first node and you have to rename this by first so like this you add at the front of the linked list <coughs> getting this you have yes, not explained i'll explain once more otherwise i'll go to next slide did you understand how to insert yes, the beginning of the list insert at the beginning means one list is there okay i have to add any element at the beginning that is known as insert at the beginning <coughs> okay so have you uh, understood this yes or no if you have understood in the beginning i will start then go to uh, end did you understand how to insert in the beginning yes ma'am okay i'll assume you have understood next insert a node at the end <coughs> so what we have to do so assume this is the given list i don't have much space so i'll take in each list only two nodes so insert at the end means where, where i should insert <coughs> yes where i should insert i want to insert assume seven okay then i'll store null i want to insert at the end so where i have to insert after five okay so what i have to do to do that so again i'll take this new node new node of uh data is equal to x that is 7 i have entered new node of because this will be last node next will be null okay <coughs> then what i have to do this will be first from here traverse go till end okay so traverse till end okay so then after that i will attach this 5 to 7 okay <coughs> so that's what first what you will do struct node star new node this is for that declaring this node okay then create uh, releasing the memory space <coughs> okay then adding the data okay then adding the next as null then taking one more temporary variable temp to traverse from starting so temp until it is not equal to null go on front temp equal to temp of next so go on front so until it is not equal to null means it will come here then what you will do <coughs> here attach now temp of next is what null okay so instead of null i have to make it as new node because i want to attach this so i'll delete this and i'll connect this so temp of next is equal to new node okay 
so this is new node then again return the first node to where it was getting this <coughs> understood how to uh, arrange so now what will be there now so now we have like this 4 5 then 7 i added and it is will be null <coughs> now assume i want to add 8 at the end what to do yes i want to add 8 at the end what i should do yes what i should do create the new node i should again create a empty node 8 so it is struct node name will be new node if it will disconnect rejoin okay new node so new node uh, data will be 8 next will be null okay so take this is your first node take one more pointer temp okay start from first and go on traversing until it is not equal to null so temp will stand here okay temp will wait here then what you have to do temp of next next is null no? erase it and make it new node <coughs> okay then when you attach this now at the end what is there this so new list will be like this 4 5 7 and then 8 so this is how you attach at the this is how we uh, do the insertion at the end now let's see how to insert in the middle or after some node so insert at the front we saw insert at the back uh, at the end we saw now let's see how to insert at middle okay so again for insertion we have to allocate a memory store the data here okay then traverse the node to the position which position you want you have to go there and then insert this okay so for example for example This is my existing list. <coughs> Assume I want to insert 8 in between 4 and 5. Or I want to insert between 5 and 6. I want to insert this 8 between <coughs> 5 and 6. Then this will be pointed by first. So what I have to do? <coughs> I have to take one more variable. Okay. So that I can traverse it. So maybe uh i will take as uh, this some node p i'll go on traversing where uh, between this i want to uh, till here i'll go okay so this will become p so i want to insert something after five so what i'll do this is a new node okay so to insert it here i have to stop here p p of next will become what eight okay <coughs> so i have to remove this and make this is p node p of next is 8 8 of uh, this uh, new node of next is what i want to insert here now so it will be equal to p of next this is p means this is p of next so that's what they're giving new node of uh, data is equal to x new node of x is uh, next is equal to p of next p of next is where here so here i'll attach then okay this where I'll attach, that is P of next. <laughs> this is how you insert in the middle. Just you have to get the location and then manipulate. Getting this? Any doubts you have in insertion? Just remember, insertion no, means one node will be there and some nodes will be there. Anywhere in middle, front, last or middle, you can insert. To insert, always create a new node and then try to attach the right pointer okay <coughs> now displaying what do you mean by displaying assume nodes are there like this <coughs> okay so nodes are like this so how to display it 
how to display here it is pointed by first so display means i have to display all those like this it will come four will come then five will come then six will come is yes or no like this i want to display to display what i have to do you have to take this no so until first is not equal to null okay so display go forward okay that is to go forward so for this what we can do we can take a one more iterator how you take in for loop i know here we will take t pointer <coughs> of type node node is what struct in uh, this uh, link list star it is okay new name we have given <coughs> so first we have to check if first is equal to is equal to null if first is equal to equal to null means it will mean it means it will be not equal to 4 it means there are list is empty okay <coughs> else what we have to do we have to take one more node p so where it will point equal to first node okay and go on traversing until it is not equal to null <coughs> okay until it is not equal to null go on traversing and then increment it is has p is equal to p of next so and print it this part is known as p of info or p of data okay so print it first p is pointing where first so it will print p then what it will do it will increment p of next so p will go where here then it will print what it will print 5 then again p is not equal to null so it will go to p of next p of next means next node so p will go here what it will print 6 now what is next p of this node is yes. what is next of this node it is null so until it is not equal to null we have to do since it is null it will stop getting this <coughs> this one program is there okay you understood how it work yes or yes ma'am this is how yes ma'am okay this is your second operation next delete a node from a link list okay you can delete uh, the node from the front okay from the end or anywhere okay <coughs> so here see one example is there okay so they want to delete this node to delete that node what we should know previous node and this node so what we will do we will after knowing the previous node next of this node has to point to next of the deleted node okay we have to change the pointers so we will delete in the front end see for example this is my link list <coughs> this is my link list okay not well from any day still i'm trying to teach you so i cough in middle don't mind <clears throat> so this is your link list 4 5 and 6 okay so <clears throat> this is your link list which you want to delete if delete from front which you will delete can anyone tell delete from front means which node will get deleted 5 Which node will be deleted? You people are able to hear, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Delete from front means which node will be deleted? Yes, Kirti. Pavitra. Yes, ma'am. Rohit. You people just have attached. Yeah? So which node will be deleted? You people are there or just uh, connected? Vandana is there. There, ma'am. Vandana, Gayatri, Viresh. you people are able to hear me right my voice is audible yes ma'am 
Eso no. Yes. 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 Which is the first node? Four. Yes or no? This is your first node. Which is your first node? Four. So, So this is the first node to be deleted. <coughs> so what you have to do here, what will be there first? If first is equal to equal to null means, what it means, list is empty. Otherwise, take one more node, P. Okay. So P will point to first. Yes or no? Then what will happen? One second. Huh? what we were seeing okay so which node will be deleted four, node four so what we will do we will take a pointer p we'll point it to first okay first is equal to first or next to delete this we have to change the first okay so first is here first will be equal to first of next node so first will point here then you can print this the deleted node is p of data or p of info and free this like this we delete now again i want to delete this phi now what is remaining in the list phi and six to delete this node again here what will be pointing first okay take one more node p <coughs> then to delete this what we have to do yes we have to check is it equal to equal to null if his, his p equal to equal to none, no. It is equal to first node. Then what I have to do? I have to make this point to next. That is first will point here. Okay. Then we will free, print this node and free. That is how we delete from the front. Next, to delete at the end, what to do? We will see. So to delete at the end means which node we have to delete? Last node. Okay, so what we will do here, it is pointed by first. <coughs> so what I have to do, I have to delete this node, six. So to for that, I have to make P to point to first because I cannot go at the end like that only. I have to start with C is equal to first, then do P of next until null. So I'll stand, uh, stop here. Then what I have to do <coughs> is, what I have to do? Yes, what I have to do? Or at least uh, this P will be there, no? So I have to stand here. Then what I have to do? P of previous, I have to make it as null and delete this. That is how we delete at the end. Next, to delete at the specific position. So I assume I have three nodes. Okay, so to delete at the specific position, maybe this is the position. Here it is pointed by first. Okay, so location will be given here. Okay, if location is equal to first, you have to delete this. Okay, and then make first to point to this. If it is at end this location, you have to make this point to null. But if it is in the middle, what you have to do? Six will be there. 7 will be there, 8. So if you have to delete this 7, what I have to do? This is first. So I'll make it as P also. <coughs> so P of next, I have to make where? Okay. So this I have to point to here and then this I can remove. That is how we delete from the specific uh, this point. Next comes searching. <coughs> So let's see how to search for an element. So this is given list. Maybe I have one, two, three. So 
always this will be pointed by first end node will be pointed by null <laughs> so most of them have not attended the previous class so if i teach you directly this you will not understand previous class go through read the textbook and come back next class okay so like this <clears throat> now i want to search for example element 2 so key element to be searched is 2 for this what i have to do i have to take a pointer p okay and then i have to take i have to compare also p of info is equal to is equal to key so is 1 equal to equal to 2 false so i will increment is 2 equal to equal to this 2 yes this is true so element is found at the position 2 okay like this how we search so we have here okay one program Seven, null. Okay. So assume I want to search eight. Okay. This is my first of the list. So what I have to do? This is first. First, I have to give the address of first location, and here I will pass what I have to search. I have to search eight. <coughs> so I have to see his equal to equal to null. His first equal to equal to null. If list is empty, it is equal to equal to null. But here we have something called six. Okay, so what I'll do? It is not equal means I will make p to point to first. P is not equal to null until that we we will go on. Okay, until the end of the list we will go on searching and going to front. When we'll go to front? If we'll not get the search element. Okay, what I want to search eight. So first I'll check is x equal to x, x is how much eight. And p of info is this part. So p is pointing to first element. So if x is equal to equal to p of info, if eight is equal to six, is it equal? <coughs> is it equal or no? Yes, it is not equal. Yes. So if it is not equal, what we have to do? We have to increment. P is equal to p of next. So p will point here. Okay. Now. P is this. Is seven equal to eight? False. So if it is false, again increment. P is equal to P of next here. <coughs> so here you will check. Is this equal to this? Yes, true. So you will write percent is found in the list. So eight is found in the list. If it was not found at the end also, you will write it is not found. This is how you search. So any doubts till here? If no doubts, we will solve the MCQ. So whoever will not answer will not get the this. Rohit, you are able to hear me? Yes or no? Rohit, Neha, Kirti, Lakshmi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So let's see the yes, MCQ question. Okay. Node in the list contains. What does a node in a list contain? It contains two parts, no? Which are those? Is it data, data and data, data and link, link and link, and all of the above? Which is that? Can anyone answer? Me, yeah, ma'am. Can anyone answer? Mm -hmm. So it is data and link. Next, the link field in a node contains. What does it contain? so your node will be like this okay so this is your data field this is your link field so what it contains what it contains yes it contains address of next node i think all have connected and have, are doing something else you have joined any other class also you are able to hear me or no So next yes, in a single, a single yes, list. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Length of list. Yes. Which operation depends on length of list? Yes. Delete operation. When it is delete the last element because you have to go till the end of the list. Then operation can be performed on the list. Which all we can perform? Insertion we can perform. Deletion we can perform. Creating. So answer is 
all of the creating a node in the link list means what allocating reallocating deallocating free creating means allocating the memory the then memory. inserting a node in the list means what adding a node to the node list memory. so that's for that's all for the day we'll see some important questions on this I think you can see the syllabus copy. So, in the third chapter, we have covered this much. So, linked list, introduction, basic concept, types of linked list. We will see tomorrow. This much I have covered from last three class. Okay, that is what is linked list, which are the different operations, etc. so important question is okay. explain the operation that can are performed on single link list it is insertion deletion searching okay and displaying then write a c function to perform insert at the end and display on the single link list next write a c function to perform insert at front and delete that also have we have seen today then write a c function to perform insert at a given operation on a single link list these all things we have covered next uh, another some classes i'll complete this chapter so today i taught you about fifth session okay so another five classes i will complete this okay so any other doubts you have think you don't have doubts take care oh, then bye